Hi and welcome to the tutorial video for the single door. This is a really good video. Um, it kind of shows you how to do the double door as well. Um, once you've done the single door you pretty much know how to do the double door. Um, so you'll find that the double door video is actually quite short. Okay so straight to it let's just um, pick up the bits and pieces. First and foremost you've got the actual single door sheet itself. Um, this is the single door sheet. Um, now I've already actually sort of um, scalped out the bits and pieces from this to save time for the video. You're also going to need um, this sheet here. This has got um, the, um, the bases for the single doors um, and a couple of the little um, supports that help, help, help level the, um, the, the, the internal parts. Um, and again, you're going to need the, um, the uh, side supports. Um, external ones uh, for the single door as well and you need four of these um, if you just watched the um, how to make the pod video then um, the basic pod I've already taken those out for here so I've got some I'm going to do here as well okay so first things first then let's pop out all the pieces okay so there's all the um, pieces for the single door I've basically got the image pieces which is the the main whole part. Um, I've got this little bit here which is actually going to be become uh, an internal detail uh, like an architrave um, for, the, for the door and then I've got the main arch for the door as well. Um, I've also got um, four of the side supports. I've got two which I've cut the little hole into um, and um, two that I've not actually cut the hole because they're going to be the internal supports. Um, however because it's a single door they're actually going to be if you like external and so I've actually used um, not the internal supports but just the normal um, side supports for this um, if you use the other ones they're going to be slightly too short and they're not going to match down the bottom here um, I've also got the um, the um, the base parts here um, which I'll show you in a minute before I start I do need to just bevel these very quickly so I'm going to do that for you now that's it so they're done Okay, so first and foremost, we're going to start, same as we did with the basic pod, um, by putting the, um, the base and the um, side supports together. Now, with this here, um, we're basically going to end up with this. So what we want to do is we want to make sure we've got one of the, um, one of the side supports with the, um, the slot cut in it and one without the slot cut in, into it. We're going to need a base piece with the bev that you just beveled and we're also going to need one of these um, internal supports which is going to go in here. Now when I glue this on in a moment you're going to see that I'm going to be very careful that I make sure that I actually glue this slightly to the side here. We don't want to glue it across obviously here because what will happen is you'll end up um, not being able to put your um, connector peg in there. Okay, so we're going to glue that slightly to the side. I'm going to, and again I'm going to use the edging technique on here but not on here because this is going to be inside. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this together. Now I want to be quite quick here. I'm going to use the bottom of the scalpel here just to push the base down. Make sure that it is fully in contact with the floor, I guess, the tabletop, the cutting board. Um, and then straight away, I'm going to level this. Okay, so that's one. Um, basically, you just repeat the process for the um, for the second base. Okay. Okay, so what you're left with is you're left with um, two of these. Um, really important. Um, in a moment we're going to sort of glue across the, t the, the, the outside hole and it's really important when you're gluing that you make sure that you've actually got the slots on the inside not cut and the slots on the outside cut because obviously it's the outside where the pegs are going to go in. Sounds really silly um, but it's very very easy to once you start moving things around to actually just put one of these on the wrong way and once the glue's dried on that um, there's, it's very very difficult to actually try and then take that back off without sort of messing up the um, the external hole. Okay, so um, that's those bases parts done. 
Okay, so the next thing I'm going to need to do is actually score some of these components here. Um, I'm going to need to score the hull. This is done exactly the same as the basic pod, okay, um, and for all the external hull, unique shape uh, of the external hulls. Uh, I'm also going to need to score this um, and the the little inside architrave as well. So this one, completely the same as a normal pod. I'll do that right now. Okay, so that's the basic um, outer hole scored um, and um, folded as well. Okay, so with this one here, um, we're going to score as well. Um, this is actually going to go inside the pod um, and create the arch. Um, so, and we've actually got some score lines, four score lines on this. We've got one here, one here, one here, and they are marked up with a black line. Um, but we're going to, because it's going to fold this way, we're going to need to score on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and reverse score that now. Okay, so there it is, um, that's the inner arch scored um, and um, ready to kind of slot in when we're done. The last part, and actually the first part we're going to assemble, um, is this um, inner, inner arch, if you like, the, um, or like an architrave to, to, the, uh, to the power door, the blast door. So um, for this here, we're going to need to score, um, we're going to need to score two of the parts we're going to need to score as two lines here. So on this, we've got two lines running. Um, we've got one down here and one down here. Um, same on here as well, so that we make like a sort of a square tube. Um, and also, we're going to have to score this part here, and this part's going to be reverse scored. So this is on top, and this is a reverse score. Um, and on this part here, the reverse score, you'll see all these little tiny notches across here. Um, there's two that are actually very slightly bigger um, that you can spot out, and that's where you're actually going to clip for a reverse score. So I'll do that first of all. Okay, so um, that's the inner arch scored um, and uh, folded. Um, you'll see it's kind of, um, you kind of end up with like a tube square tube missing the side I guess um, and then you've got this little bit here which ultimately ends up um, sort of uh, under under here like so it creates the inside edge and this bit tacks on the other side now before we actually assemble this together we've got some bolstering to do first thing we need to do is bolster out um, these parts here so there's actually a surface in here to glue onto um, and this part here as well and in addition, we're also going to do a little bit of bolstering just under here as well, so that we've actually got something for this part here to glue into as well. So, let's start with the bolstering. Obviously, it's really important that you kind of read the essential how-to guide um, because it essentially tells you um, all, all about bolstering, but I am going to go through it um, uh, in, in a kind of a nutshell form to, uh, right now with you here. Okay, so I'm just going to take a, an off cut of card um, and you can roughly guess the sort of uh, thickness you're going to need. We're going to need a piece to run across here and across the top of our piece here as well. So I'm just going to cut a piece which probably about there maybe should do it. Lovely, and that's enough for those two parts. I'm also going to need the same again for the very top, um, very slightly wider for this part because this has been folded in. Um, here, there's no folds, so um, just going to pop that on the top of here. Okay, so those are my bolsters. I'm going to have to put a slightly thinner one for these parts here. I'm actually just going to um, clip that to length. I'm not going to do it the entire length. Drag it back a bit. Okay, so 
I've got my bolstered parts here. Um, we're basically going to pop this onto here and these bits onto this side, um, and these um, are just going to go inside. So, starting with the, the easier bit here, just going to bolster onto the top of there. Um, just going to stick those down. Okay, that's the first bit nicely bolded. Uh, bolded. That's the first bit nicely bolstered. That's going to give me basically um, an edge here to glue onto when I'm connecting it um, to this part here, um, and also when this part here is going to be connected, I've got a nice little edge to glue on. Um, of course also gives it strength as well. Now with this part here I'm also going to need to bolster these as well um, but with this because the mount board isn't quite as thick as um, isn't quite as thick as, as the depth of this um, if, I, if I glue it directly on the inside there it's going to be too shallow so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to glue down each side of the edge here and I'm actually going to glue it so that it kind of sits here okay um, and then um, that way I've got an edge here nicely glued on little, uh, that will fit to the inside of the uh, arch. A little bit more tricky to do but um, practice makes perfect as it were. So uh, do that first of all. Okay, so that's um, both parts bolstered. Um, you can see it doesn't have to be right off to the edge. Or you know, I've done the because I've done these slightly sh um, um, shorter than the length of the archetype. Uh, but um, there's enough of an image there. We also don't want it sticking out too much that it sort of intrudes and it's going to leave a white sort of space. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. All I'm going to do now is um, I'm actually just going to glue all the bits together. So um, what we've got here, we are going to glue this part onto here. And then we're going to glue this part onto the top here as well. And that will basically be the archway. Sometimes you might, depending on where you're folded, um, you might need to just trim a tiny bit here and here. Um, just to make it sort of fit um, a little bit, a little bit neater. I um, think I'm going to be all right. I might, I might just take a tiny bit off of there. So all I'm going to do is just tack a tiny, tiny bit off the actual image itself, like so, and like so. I think that will be fine. In fact, I know it will. So. Okay, so I'll go ahead and glue these on. Now with this again, I'm actually going to use a little bit of edging technique because I don't want the glue to spill out onto the inside of here. So that's that bit done, and I'm just going to pop this bit onto the top. Now that that's glued on there nicely, um, what you can do if you want to, um, I generally don't, but what you can do because you've still got these two bits not connected, you can just hold that in place and just drop a little bit of glue just in here and that would make that slightly stronger. Um, the reason I don't, I did with the first few doors but then I stopped doing it because once this is glued in place anyway the whole thing is going to be held in place and it does I find give you a bit of flexibility. Um, when popping it um, in and making sure that you get no glue on the um, the image when you're gluing this part in. Um, but there you go, that's basically the internal part done and this is the most fiddly part. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do um, before we actually assemble this, we're getting, getting close to assembling this, is um, we're actually just going to bolster out this part here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is um, I've got some of my um, off cut here from a scrap bit of card 
um, and I'm actually just going to cut some pieces that can fit in here nicely uh, for this to butt up against. So very roughly but not exactly I'm going to mark out some sizes. And then for this bit here I'm just going to cut one bit and then cut it into a triangle. So, all we're going to do now is um, we're going to glue these parts on. We're going to glue one part to here, and then we're going to glue each one of these triangle parts to here. And what we're going to do is we've got to make sure that we don't get any of this bolstering onto this part here because this is actually where this is going to go and if we get any of the bolstering on here it's going to be 1.5mm too thick and that will really sort of totally outshape the pod okay so um, yeah I'm going to glue those in um, onto this area here another thing as well is that when we glue this on um, we don't necessarily want to glue this right up to the absolute edge here what we'd like to do is just glue it with the tiniest fraction just enough about the thickness of the actual photo paper itself um, which is 270 GSM the one I'm using here not that I can see that as a, as a thickness um, just a little bit because what's going to happen is chances are when we pop this in this part here is actually just going to tuck inside and rest up against it um, like so and we don't want it just on the outside because it, it leaves more of the white showing. Um, it's not the end of the world if it did have that little bit of white showing because there is white showing on the model. Um, but anyway, let's, um, let's glue that all into place now. Okay, so that's it that's this part here fully bolstered out and when we pop that together that will actually give a surface here for the archway to actually butt up against something we can actually put glue on and stop this from sort of just being lost or popped inside um, or generally just you know coming away from the surface okay so what we've got is we've got our two finished base pieces we've got our bolstered outer hull we've got our inside arch um, and our architrive. Um, that's everything done. Literally all we've got to do is put it all together now. Okay, so first of all we need to actually glue this on and we'll do one at a time so let's remove one of them and this is the moment when we've got to make sure that we've got the slot on an outside edge and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the whole thing fits nicely and very occasionally, sometimes I just make a little nick at the top of here and you can trim off a tiny bit um, of the, the top of this tiniest, tiniest bit um, like so just to help the fit across the top um, certainly with the inside ones it doesn't. It really doesn't matter at all because, well, because they're inside I guess um, so, uh, you know, you don't want to do too much with the outside ones okay so first of all, I'm going to make sure that this fits nicely, and it does, like so. Let's have a look. That's good. Okay, so I just need to glue that in. And what we're going to do, we're going to glue just one side first of all, across the top, like we do with the basic pod. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and put the other side in on this side. So, edging technique for this one. And it's edging on both sides it's going to be edging technique because this is actually an outside and this is an outside. So now I'm going to pop this side down. Now if we just do one at a time this time, we're going to come unstuck 
or not stuck at all as the case may be. So, um, so what I'm going to do here is um, basically we're going to be quite quick and we're going to edge glue both sides and stick it down in one go. So let's make sure that uh, we've got a nice clean flow of glue. And off we go. Okay, so there it is. Um, no real beading or anything. Uh, uh, yeah. So, um, and I'd normally let that dry off for a bit before I do anything else. Um, but for the purpose of this video, we'll kind of move on to the next bit. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is um, we just basically need to pop this into here, glue that in, and then pop this into here, and then the door's basically done. We'll leave this to the last and we're going to put this one in first. Okay, so pop it in, make sure it fits, which it does perfectly. If for whatever reason it didn't and it stuck out the bottom very slightly, you could just um, you could just very carefully sort of um, run off a small piece of that. That uh, wouldn't be an issue at all. This actually fits perfectly. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it in. Um, we've got these bolsters in here, so I'm going to glue it onto the bolsters um, and onto the side here. When you're gluing onto the side, basically going to just sort of uh, put as much on as well not as much on as you can you're gonna you're gonna put 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 the glue on and then you're gonna use actually the the nozzle to to kind of spread it out so that you get a nice sort of coverage okay so best thing to do is actually um, to hold this keeping the sides away um, and just a little bead there and then just locate it on the um, on the bolsters first like so and then just let each part fall onto here okay so that's the inside bit put on there, and that's nice. Bit of detail there. Okay. Last but not least, then we're going to uh, pop this little fella in here. Now this is kind of the trickiest bit of assembly, really, because um, what we're going to do is we're going to glue around this whole thing. But when we're actually putting this in, we don't actually want any of this to sort of the glue on this side or this side to actually touch and make a mess of this image here so um, it's kind of a tricky bit um, sometimes what I do this bit here I'll just tack this little bit off here comes in a little bit wide sometimes that slips in nice and nice and easy now Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just drop that straight in. And the same with the arch, I'm going to kind of bend this in um, and try and locate it first. Quite tricky to do, so. And then one at a time, locate each part on. Okay, so that's it, that's the single door pod finished. Um, just grab some other pods here and you can basically just pop them all together. And that becomes the, the single door in a line of the hull as it were. Um, that's it, um, done and dusted. On to the next uh, tutorial video. Thanks very much for watching and uh, happy gaming.